Quantum computing is making headlines, with many calling it the next breakthrough after AI. In this video, we'll explore four leading companies whose stock price has skyrocketed by 6 to 15 times in just the past year. Now, before we get into these companies, what is quantum computing? Quantum computing isn't just faster, it's a whole new way of solving problems. Traditional computers process one thing at a time, but quantum computers using qubits can explore countless possibilities simultaneously. They're being used to solve complex problems in fields like medicine, logistics, AI, and much more. So the first company we're going to look at is Quantum Computing Inc. or QCI. QCI develops accessible quantum optimization system designed to solve difficult problems in areas like data analysis and imaging. So they've generated minimal revenues, very minimal actually, and are operating at negative EBITDA and free cash flow, which means that they're burning cash. They've increased their debt to 7.8 million as of the last quarter and are sitting on a cash position of $3.1 million. Just to put that in perspective, in the last quarter alone, they've had negative 5.1 million in free cash flows, which means that their current cash position would not be enough to support one more quarter of free cash flow losses. That's assuming they don't raise any additional capital. It's not all bad news though for QCI because on December 17th, they secured a contract with none other than NASA to support advanced imaging and data processing. So the future looks quite bright for this company. Looking at QCI's price chart, we see that the year to date, QCI stock increased by staggering 15 times. Their 52 week price range spans between 35 cents and $27 with a current market cap of 1.8 billion. The company's EV to revenue multiple is a staggering 1,495 times, which sounds crazy given that the company hasn't even generated a dollar in profit. However, this is normal for companies in their infancy phase where the value is based on the future cash flow generating ability of the firm rather than on the past, which in this case, there is none. Now, next up, we've got Rigeti Computing, which is a full stack quantum computing company that offers cloud based quantum systems. Now, looking at their financials, we see that they started to generate recurring revenues of around 2 million to 3 million per quarter which is a positive sign. However, they're still operating at negative EBITDA and free cash flows, which means that they're burning cash. They have a healthy cash position of $92 million as of the most recent quarter, which means that they have enough cash to sustain future losses, keeping in mind that their monthly cash burn is around $18 million. So that's around five quarters of future cash flow burns. Riggedy stock has grown six times year to date. Their 52 week price range is 66 cents to $12.75 with a current market cap of $2 billion and their EV to revenue multiple is 170x. Again, extremely high multiples, but this is normal given that the company is in its infancy phase. Now, next up, we've got D-Wave Quantum, which focuses on solving optimization problems in areas like logistics and AI. Similar to Rigeti, they started to generate minimal revenues of around $2 million per quarter, but are still operating at negative EBITDA and free cash flow, which means that they're burning cash. They're highly leveraged with a total debt position of $55 million as of the most recent quarter and a depleting cash position. Their current cash balance of $29 million is enough to sustain free cash flow losses of around two quarters if the last quarter's free cash flow burn of $18 million per quarter continues. However, similar to the other companies, they've been in the news recently and has been positive. D-Wave recently reported that they were able to maintain the SOC2 compliance, which is an audit that is performed yearly to determine if the company is able to deliver secure solutions. Now, looking at the stock price, we see that D-Wave stock has grown five times year to date. Their 52 week price range is 68 cents to $10.50 with a current market cap of 1.5 billion and an EV to revenue multiple of 154 times. Next up, we've got Quantum Corporation, which provides data storage and management solutions. They enable handling of massive data sets supporting industries like AI and machine learning. Now, Quantum has been able to generate consistent revenues over the past year, north of $70 million per quarter, actually managed to generate positive EBITDA in quarter three, 2023, but are still operating at negative free cash flow and have extremely high levels of debt with 125 million in total debt. 
and a depleting cash position. You can see that their cash position has decreased from 26 million to around 16 million in the most recent quarter. With their current cash balance of 16.7 million, their quarterly cash burn of 17 million, this could spell trouble for this company. However, just like the other companies, Quantum Corporation has partnered with NVIDIA to integrate GPU accelerated storage solutions, enabling faster data processing and improved workflows for AI, machine learning, and high performance computing applications. So looking at Quantum stock price, we see that it has increased six times year to date with a 52 week price range of $2 to $64. Its current market cap sits at only $231 million and an EV to revenue multiple of one time. So this is the smaller cap stock. And out of all these companies, I would say this one seems to be the more sensible valuation given that it has been able to generate revenues consistently. However, the other companies might be valued at higher multiples because of their future revenue generating ability compared to Quantum. Now, the question that you want answered, should you invest in these companies? The answer is very simple. Do you have the risk appetite for it? These companies are currently operating at a loss with minimal cash balances that in many cases may not be sufficient to cover more than a couple of quarters of losses. This is normal with investing in early stage companies. However, the potential upside is immense. If quantum computing technology continues to be adopted and integrated across industries like healthcare, AI, and logistics, these companies could see exponential growth. It's a high risk, high reward investment that requires a long-term mindset as quantum computing is still in its infancy, but holds the promise to revolutionize the world.